Hi, my name is Jasmine Groslin. I'm the editorial intern for www.ocregister.com slash opinion. Today I'm with Julie Meggs, president of the College of Democrats here at Chapman University, and we're here to talk about the Democratic primaries um, for Indiana and North Carolina. Welcome, Julie. Thank you. Um, so what were your general thoughts about yesterday's results? Were you surprised at all? I was not particularly surprised because this really has been the trend the last few primaries that Obama's doing better than expected and Hillary's doing worse than expected. So this is just kind of continuing on with that trend. And the media's been signaling Hillary's withdrawal for a while now, but she continues to still be in the race. Um, do you think that this is going to be a turning point for her? Or? Well, she still says that she wants to stay in the race through the long haul, and I think that may be a mistake. I understand her motivation and why she wants to stay in the race because it's still so close, but unless there's a huge change in these last few primaries, she's not going to be able to gain the delegates that she needs in order to not only gain the nomination, but really gain the support of the American people, because the only way that it seems feasible for her to gain enough delegates is through the superdelegates, which while that may be technically legal, it's not going to bode well for her when it comes to the general election and may make that race especially difficult. And um, this particular um, spot for the nomination has been really drawn out. Do you feel um, that it's caused any division in the Democratic Party? No, I really don't. I really believe that the reason it's been so close and taken so long is because we've got two fantastic candidates to choose from. And even though Obama people are hardcore Obama people and Clinton supporters are hardcore Clinton supporters, when push comes to shove, most Democrats would be perfectly happy with either candidate. They both are extremely qualified and I think would do an amazing job leading this country. And so when a delegate is, when a candidate is finally chosen, I think we'll have absolutely no problem getting behind that candidate. It would just be better to do it sooner rather than later. Okay, so you don't think there'll be any problem with um, the general election in November? I don't think there will be a problem as long as we choose the candidate with the popular vote, which is Obama. I think there could be a little bit of controversy and um, hard feelings if Clinton gets the nomination based solely on superdelegates. But if she does win by the popular, which is not looking very likely, then I think that would be fine as well. We just need to go with who the people have chosen in order to uh, take the election in November. All right. Well, thank you again, Julie. You're welcome. And once again, I'm Jasmine Graza for www.ocregister.com/slash. Thanks for watching.